Hey everyone, what's up? It's Frank from Brilliantly Epic, and this is First Impressions episode 13. And uh, this Thursday, so in a few days, is Thanksgiving, and I figured I would play something to kind of celebrate the spirit of white people being assholes and killing innocent people um, kind of for no reason, which is basically sort of what Thanksgiving celebrates, although not really. Uh, it's, it's like a whole thing. It's complicated, but... Uh, yeah, this game's called Darkest of Days, and it's like a time splitters kind of thing. So I only just heard about it today, and uh, I, I literally Google searched like Cowboys vs. Indians game because I figured, you know, it's Thanksgiving, and that's kind of, you know, the Thanksgiving is celebrating the Indians helping out the pilgrims when they first got here, planting corn and shit, helping them survive, and then they turned around and repaid them by killing them and uh, taking over their land. So let's get started on this. Uh, start a new game. Okay, so I know nothing about what's going on. It just starts out Battle of Little Bighorn. I don't know anything about the Battle of Little Bighorn other than it was fought between um, white people and Native Americans in Montana, apparently, on June 25th, 1876. So, yeah, I don't really know what the conflict was about. I'm sure it was over land, territory, and stuff. But here we go. Wow. Those are some graphics, man. I don't know how old this game is, but... Jeez. Alright, so I guess I'm Morris. And, uh... Yeah, don't have a gun or anything. Uh, I can sprint, though. Sprint! Sprint! So, yeah, I, I, I... What I read about this game is it takes place in a bunch of battles throughout history. And I don't know if it goes into the future or not. It starts out in Little Bighorn, though. Then I think it goes to, like, World War II or something. I don't know why it does that. And I don't know if I play as, like, Morris the whole time or... I don't know. I got a gun. All right. Uh, all right. So we're shooting people now. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. Uh, thanks for teaching, teaching us about corn and everything. Yeah. If you're not American, you're not familiar with Thanksgiving. It's basically a time when you get together with your family, eat turkey, stuffing, mashed potatoes, I don't know, what, cram cranberry sauce, apple pie, or not, pumpkin pie, not apple pie, because it's not the summer, it's the fall, and it's pumpkins, everything's pumpkins in the fall, but it's like a big American thing, um, I never really thought of it as like a big holiday or anything, although the entire country pretty much shuts down, everyone gets Thanksgiving off, there's like football on and stuff. So it's a big deal, like, in the federal sense. Like, we always got off school and everything, so. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's a little fucked up when you think about the origin of it. And, uh, hopefully, my ironic game choice draws attention to that. A oh. Oh, I got hit. Oh, God. that Dude, that's, like, in my dick. Got an arrow in my dick. I used to be an adventurer like you, but then I got an arrow in my penis. God, I hate that. I hate that so much. Skyrim sucked. That joke sucked. The internet sucks. I hate it. I hate it all. All right, so I can't move. Uh, just kind of pinned here. Uh, oh, uh, looks like things are not going well for us. I don't know who won Little Bighorn either. It's entirely possible that we're all going to be wiped out. I don't think we are beating them back. It seems like we're kind of in trouble here. Uh, this is a Steam game, also. I don't think it's available for, like, Xbox or PlayStation or anything, at least from what I saw. It wasn't. It might be available for, like, original Xbox. Shut up, it's Custer! Oh, shit, Custer got hit. I know about General Custer from his Atari game. Oh, what's this? Oh. You gotta go now. Okay, so I guess it is very futuristic, and they pick me up from that. I don't know why me. Weird. Okay. Hold. Stable. Not pressure. Stable. Subject. Alexander. Parts. 35 to 40 years old. No known family. 
active service with seven cavalry. Presumed deceased, body not recovered. Preliminary second allegation. Post traumatic stress system is in origin. Subject otherwise considered neurologically sound. Yeah, why the fuck do they care about like a civil war shelter? Civil War Soldier. I can't speak. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, so this is like Time Splitters style where they like pick someone up from the past and. Hey, mother. In service of history. You are in the future. So I guess I'm gonna go. Around 300 years or so, if you're curious. We are Chronotech. So it's like 2100, 2200. I can't do math. Dr. Ranier Cole, we have made time travel not only possible, but practical. It's a recent innovation. Dr. Cole took his first trip 20 years ago, and we are very careful in our travels. We use it only for research. But what a fantastic okay. thing. The mysteries alone we've solved. Chronotech travelers witnessed monoliths being raised at Stonehenge. Another team discovered why the Mayan civilization disappeared. We've discovered Dude, it's because of 2012, that's why. Remember that? The power that was of a thing. Travel comes the responsibility of protecting history. Dr. Cole is a fanatic about this. It's one of the reasons we call So we got like the, the prime directive, we can't mess with shit. Changing history would be dangerous and foolish. Together. And changing history, butterfly flapping its wings, Ashton Kutcher, all that stuff. Keeping that in mind, there have been some very Yeah, prime objective, prime directive. Shout out to Star Trek. is missing. I fear the very father of time is lost somewhere, some time out there. Second, so I feel like fucking with history kind of includes going back to the past like that in a very futuristic looking bubble and a suit and picking me up. I feel like that kind of goes against the prime directive, but now whatever. I'm the perfect candidate, apparently. I don't know why. I feel like people from the future would be better equipped for this. You will be sent to different places in their times of great strife and change. Charged with saving those people facing an untimely end. You are the perfect candidate to help our cause, and I'm sure you'd like to show your Oh dude, I wanna kill Hitler rescue from certain death. There's more you need to know, and you must have some questions. For the answers, step into the portal and meet the man who will help you along in your quests. Alright, let's go. Dexter. Oh, portal. Training simulator. Awesome. Uh, I'm gonna skip this because training boring guy. fucking shit. Welcome back, Morris. All right, so I completed training, training pretty standard well. shit. Yes, ma'am. I ran his rear through the gear, and he seems to be gripping gravel. Very well. After consulting with the Chronotech time stream monitors, I've isolated two individuals in immediate danger. Joseph Welch is a soldier in the Union Army in the United States Civil, Civil War. War. The He's Union was the good side, a.k.a. the North. And I say that only because I'm from Pennsylvania, so the North. Our other target is Captain Petrich, but, a Russian officer I mean, there's the whole, like, slavery thing, too, so that too. And, uh, oh, a Russian guy from World War One. they were allies, but they became enemies in the Cold War. And again, I say this from a completely American perspective. Whatever, dude, I'm an asshole. I'm American. What can I say? Current crisis and our reintegration team will get them back to their time period safely. Dexter, have you prepared mission briefings? Yes. All right, what am I doing? Prepared mission strategies and maps and loaded them to the view screen up there. Then I'll leave both of you to your business and look forward to your successful return. Well, you got a choice to make. Where are we going? Uh, I'm going to do Civil War, dude. Actually, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to do Civil War cuz it's Thanksgiving, so like America and stuff. Uh, okay, so I'm guessing Germans on the runs World War 1 cuz Germans were not fighting in the American Civil War. So I'll do night moves. All right. I got good news. You already know how to use this war's weapons. That's the only good news there is. Ooh. You know about this battle. It's the bloodiest day of American history. Gettysburg? The Battle of Antietam in the Civil oh. War. Whoops, my history's off. Before all the shit flies. You'll be scouting rebel positions and learning the lay of the land while moving into position to meet Joseph Welsh. If you're lucky, we might even find him tonight. That'd save a whole lot of hassle. You're going in just outside a Union camp. You'll be attached to a scout patrol. Join them and follow orders as you move ahead. Keep your eyes peeled, your head down, and your powder dry. All right, keep my powder dry. Let's do it. Woo, 
Antietam! So, I am fighting for the North, the Union Army, against the Confederates, who are the Rebels or the Southern Army. Now let's do it. Okay, so... In all the training and everything, I still don't know how to switch weapons. And how to melee. Oh, there we go. That's right, so I got a Colt revolver and a Springfield musket. Hey, man. You all done with the shitter? No, I'm not done with the shitter yet. Fuck you. Where's the shitter? We just going like up in the woods up here. I gotta poop. Ah, fine. So yeah, war is hell. You gotta poop in the woods. All right, let's do it. What are we? What are we doing? Oh, I hope this is not a stealth mission. I hate stealth missions. Ah, uh, that's gonna suck. gonna scout through the swamp, at least up to the road. Patrol one, head along the north ridge. Two and three, you're taking the southern route. Rescue boys, just head on down the middle. So. Gonna be tough to spot those graybacks in the dark, so be careful. Goddamn graybacks. Man, so much, so much American history. Uh, I guess I'm going through the swamp. Okay, I don't really know. I'll just follow these guys. All right, let's go. Let's go, fellas. So, yeah, I'm training. It's basically uh, grenades, firearms. They explain something where, like, certain enemies will be, will have a blue border around them. And those enemies you cannot kill. So there's special weapons you can use to dispatch of them, like stun. They're like stun grenades, basically, you throw at them. Other than that, I don't really know much. I guess I'm just going to be going throughout different battles in history, saving people's lives or something. I'm trying not to fuck it up too much. So it's a pretty cool idea. It's a lot like Time Splitters, but uh, Time Splitters wasn't as historical. A lot of Time Splitters took place in the future. And this is actually, like, real historical battles. So it's, a, it's an interesting idea and definitely cool if you're, like, a history buff. Um, so far, though, the gameplay is nothing special. We'll see, though, how it is here. I wish we could just get to wherever the fuck we're going. Where are we going, guys? Oh, are these the Graybacks? I see a Grayback! Oh yeah, and then there's this thing. It's like the quick reload system from Gears of War. Uh, if you get it on the green, then you get like a reload bonus. Otherwise, your gun jams. Ah oh, shit, we lost someone already. Yeah, like right there, my gun's jamming. Also, we're using like Civil War era muskets and stuff, so... I think my gun's still jammed. Damn, that takes forever. Ooh. Ah, oh, missed, so it takes like seven years to reload. Pistol's actually kind of better. Oh, well, missed that too. Ah, uh, jammed it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. It is very hard to hit people on this. There's no crosshair when you aim down the sights, so... Got him! Goddamn Graybacks. Ah, I jammed it again. That's annoying. The thing I liked about Gears of War is you could just... Well, the, the space for... Oh, what is this? Oh, different guns. I don't know what kind of gun this is. The space for, uh, for the quick reload was a lot bigger, so it was easier to pull off. And also, you could just let it go. Like, you didn't have to quick reload. You could just let it go and you re reload normally. It was only if you missed a quick reload that your gun would jam. But in this, it kind of looks like your gun jams unless you hit the mark. Where the fuck am I going? I guess to the blinking blue. So even if you just let it go past the green dot, it'll still jam, which is a little frustrating. Him, John. Johnny! Where's Johnny? Hey, Johnny. Oh, I like this gun. Oh, that goes kind of quickly. Eh, it doesn't jam as long, so... Yeah, I like this gun. It's pretty good.
Ah, to the right. To the right there. This way. Ah, there we go. Right, what am I looking for? Get in the tree. There's Rebs heading down the road. Rebs? Those are Rebels? They have a bunch of names for them. Get back in, where in the hell are you going? Oh, shit. I'm not supposed to fight them. Oops! Okay. Oh, my God, Ron. They have, like, horses and shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, I wasn't supposed to do that. I already fucked up. Uh, where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? They're chasing me. Help, help, help. Uh, where am I going? Okay, so those are the bad guys. Uh, I think we want to go like this way, maybe? Or uh, No, we're just fighting our way through. Fuck it. Oh my god, ah! Uh. Okay, you take damage like a son of a bitch. Holy shit. Okay, so like, stealth is definitely important. Fuck. Alright, where are we- where are we doing? Where are we doing here? Alright, check the map. Okay, so I'm not gonna just charge in like I did last time. I'm gonna try to be a little bit more stealthy here. Get in the trees! There's revs heading down the road! Alright. So, okay, so those are my people, because they're dressed in blue. So that's the Union. And then those guys... Okay, so we just crouch here, I guess, let them pass. That was a close one, boys. Yeah. Sure was. Look at all them ribs. The United States is one country, assholes, not two. Fuck. Uh, 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 man, I'm so bad at history. I forget what the Confederate president was named. Shut your pie hole, we'll find it. Shut your pie hole, dude. Uh, their capital was in Virginia, whereas the Union was in Washington, D.C., where it still is. And, you know, like, Abraham Lincoln, blah, 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 all that stuff. Eventually, the Union won, so the United States won country and not two. Okay, it's safe to slip by. Still, it's an interesting time in history. Let's head down the road some and uh, pick up a path heading north. Plus, the there's, like, slavery and stuff, so that really sucked. And, uh, you know, definitely, definitely glad that slavery was abolished. I don't know. I, I mean, yeah, it's... Obviously, it's a horribly reprehensible thing, and one of the good outcomes of the war was that uh, the Emancipation Proclamation, you know, we could just yeah. up the hill there on high school history and stuff. If you're American, you learn about all this stuff in, in history class. Uh, did they? Oh, uh, they saw me. Shit. You said hill to the right. I couldn't... Oh, damn it. Okay. Uh, let's kill these guys. Boosh, you're dead. And I keep doing the call. Oh, man. Oh, that guy's a sword. That's not going to be very useful against a gun. Got him. Oh, no, he doesn't have a sword. Oh, man. You take damage very quickly in this game. It is easy to die. Holy shit. Going up here. I can't make it. Go around. Oh. Yeah, this game must be a little bit older. The graphics are pretty bad. Holy crap, oh, look at that. What? Now, let's try and do this quietly. Oh, they're having like a hoe down down there or something. Well, no other way but through. Well, there's no telling how many more are heading down that road. Uh, I have to go right through them, don't I? I think so. All right. I guess we want to just get the jump on him. Hey. Yeah, they do know we're here because I shot. Oh, this is the single shot. I should have kept the pistol. Because this thing is a motherfucker to aim. Ugh. I hit him. Man, that was MLG. First-person shooters are so interesting, like, some of them can be amazing, and some of them can just be fucking terrible. It's really interesting. And it's- it's not even- Okay, so these guys are blue, so I can't kill these guys. Uh, so how do I use... I think- nope. 
How do I equip my things? Oh, here we go. So these things. These are chasers. I throw them out. I get on the blue guys and stun them. And stun them. There we go. And then this guy I can kill because he's not blue. But yeah, those blue guys I don't want to kill. I want to throw out the chasers and stun them. Yeah, first person shooters, like the story can be awesome. The, like the guns can be cool. There can be all this stuff, but it's, it's really just about the way the game feels while you're playing it. That can really make or break a first person shooter. And this feels a little clumsy. So, and it, yeah, it's, I mean, I think it's definitely an older game. So, you know, take, take that for what it's worth, but yeah, it's just kind of interesting how much variation there can be in first person shooters when really all the games are pretty much the same. Like you run around and you shoot people. That's every single first person shooter ever. Ooh, what's this? I like this. Oh, it's got a scope. That's awesome. Dude. I didn't know they had like FaZe Clan in the Civil War. Ooh, no scoped them. Ah, fuck this jamming thing. That's annoying. So that's a Morgan James rifle. Shout out to Brandon. Morgan, my boss. His last name is Morgan. Uh, we're going this way. Let's go. Oh, I'm going to do some like quick scopes and shit. I can melee too. That's ammo for this. I'm going the right way. I wish there was a HUD, like a mini map, but I guess that doesn't really make sense for the time period. But on the other hand, we are time traveling and stuff. So you think they would have the courtesy to give me like an eye implant yeah, so I can I see the map without having to pull it up. Somewheres. All right. So I don't know what my fucking mission is. I guess we're just trying to sneak through here and kill as many people as possible. Oh, those red bastards. Quick in the field. There's too many reds on the road. This stealth, this stealth shit's tricky. I am not very good at it. Now going through the cornfields. If any of you morons get lost in the corn, just follow the smoke. They're in the corn. Ah, oh, damn it! They saw us. Shit! Quiet down, boys. Sweep them out, boys. It sounds like I have people with me, but I don't see them ever. They just kind of seem to appear. Oh, is that someone? Yeah, my, like the... Oh, there's a guy. Is he me or... Okay, I don't see where he went. Uh, I'm just going to run to the manor. And my guys can kind of deal as they see fit. Oh, through that. Yeah, I'm just going to run past. Damn. There's a bunch of revs up there. Oh, it's these guys. Best be careful sneaking up there. Yeah, they seem to kind of like teleport to me just as... I get along. Uh, those guys don't see us, so I won't kill them. All right, what's going on here? Burning house. Uh, there's a blue guy. Well, boys, looks like more blood to spill. No, don't shoot him. We can't shoot him. He's important to history somehow. Is that my team? Uh, that's my team, yeah. Guys, stop. I figured when they were talking about like certain enemies not being killable, I figured it was going to be like important people, not just random enemies throughout each level. That's kind of frustrating, actually. I guess it's like all the blue soldiers are the ones who survived. And if you kill someone before they are actually supposed to die, then it's like it fucks up history. But the way they introduced it, I thought it was going to be like you'd run into like Winston Churchill or Abraham Lincoln and you couldn't kill them. I didn't think it would just be like regular enemies you'd see on the battlefield. I guess it makes sense though. I'll let it slide. I'll, I'll, oh my God. Where am I getting shot at from? Oh, this guy. Guy with a sword. Also the controls are kind of wonky. I keep hitting left trigger to zoom in and it's left button, which I can't really seem to figure out how to fix. It's a little weird. I don't like it. Uh, there's more blue guys. <laughs> what wish I had grenades. That'd be nice. 
I guess there's nothing that stops me from stunning non-blue guys. But really, if you think about it, by the same logic, like if you can't kill people because it'll mess up history, you should actually kill everyone who's supposed to die at this battle. So like all these regular guys who aren't blue, technically I should have to kill them. Because like it could fuck up history just as much. Oh, fuck! There's no way to tell how much health you have left too. It's kind of annoying. But yeah, if you think about it, like someone who yeah, is supposed to die and doesn't, fucks up history just as much. But I think that's getting a little too, like, intellectual for this game, when really it's just a first person shooter. Uh, you're dead. Boom. Alright, who else? You're dead. There's a blue guy. Multiple blue guys. All right. Yeah. Oh, I only have two of them. Oh, shit, I'm out of chasers. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I don't imagine I can pick more up. I don't really think they're gonna see them lying around the levels or anything. Fuck! It is impossible to hit people. Oh, I see. The ones that don't go off just come back to you automatically. God damn! It's so hard to hit people. Fuck. All right, we're back. It's something weird about like my mouse cursor it's hard to see it when i'm running my capture for some reason so i accidentally started a new game and then i couldn't get back to this one again so all right we're back now so yeah pardon that pause let's try to get through this this part's actually pretty tricky there's a lot of bad guys and they move pretty quickly got that guy there's a lot of fucking blue guys, too. Uh, that's a blue guy. Alright, so I can also, like, shoot them in the leg and stuff. I want to cripple them. Fuck, they're everywhere. Jesus. Now, there's guys behind me, too. Awesome. Why? Why? Where? Why? How? Yeah, they are. Fuck. That's a bad guy. Yo, dude. Oh, the melee sucks. There's a lot more than a few, buddy. Alright, more of these guys. Take them out. Yeah! They're kind of imprecise. You just throw them and they like Ah, uh, that is nowhere near all of them. There are still a ton. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Oh, melee, melee. Yeah, it's pretty tough to see if you're actually hitting people or not. There's no hit marker or anything. Again, say what you will about Call of Duty. The hit marker is pretty important. Just to know if you're hitting people doing damage or not. Let's kill this guy. Boosh. It's just good game design to have a hit marker, in my opinion. Uh, hurry up, hurry up. Nah, let's just use this. Oh god, they're there. Why? Melee, 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 melee. Boys, come on back. Uh, there are more people we need to get rid of. Okay, that should do it. Uh, this is a bad guy too, huh? Got him. All right. Now that should do it. All right, what do we got here? Anything important? No. We're just walking past. Look at that, boys. Get over here. There's a whole army camp. Get over here. Good, a whole army. All right, got to report it. Just to the west. So that would be this way. Well, that's north. And cross the river. Okay. I guess it's in the north, not to the west. Whatever. Gotta cross this river. Sounds like do I do that? Up ahead. 
A rhubarb? Yeah? Well, I seem to be stuck. Nope. Go down here. Uh, here we go. Here's a bridge. Found it. Uh, is that me? That's my guy. Okay. Oh, who's shooting me? Guys, stop. 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 I can't see you. Ah, oh, got him. Well, they definitely uh, make it so you're not more powerful than every other soldier. Which is realistic, I guess. Because in real life, it's not like you're Master Chief and you can just run around and take bullets and stuff. You, uh, you die pretty easily in this. Where'd he go? Nah, I can't see him because of the fucking trees. Okay, fuck him. I, I'm, uh, we're going this way anyway. Let's just leave him. Let's just leave him. Uh, okay, that way. No. Oh, good, I see more, a lot more blue people. That's awesome. Uh, just get back to camp. We gotta report the army. You hear that up ahead? I don't hear much. I just hear these guys. Uh, go for the thing. Okay, that got him. I'll shock him in a little bit. Shock him. There we go. I guess I can melee these guys too. That shouldn't kill them, right? Yeah, I can melee them. Just run up and melee them. Kind of sucks. I'm out of the tracer things. Ah, oh, come on, come on, melee, melee. Oh, really? Are you kidding me? Come on. Fuck's sake. Oh, and I'm back here. And they spawn me and wow, just in front of a bunch of bad guys. That's a spawn. Man, talk about that spawn. All right, where am I going? Oh, now I'm going to go up this way. Hello? Anyone home? Nope. Ah, oh, this is annoying. There are a lot of a lot of hills you just can't walk up and you gotta like run around until you find the invisible pathway. God damn it. Uh what? I guess I I guess I haven't crossed the river yet. Okay. Might be. Alright, there we go. Oh my god, I hate that. You can definitely walk over that. It's really annoying. You hear that up ahead? Come on, man. All right, so these guys again. Try stunning them again. Blah! Only got two left though. That sucks. That's a friendly. These guys are gonna get zapped. Zap, zap. All right, I'm out of things though. So I gotta try this again. Run up, and melee them. Melee. Melee. He's dead. He's dead. All right, where am I going? Uh, there are more bad guys up here. Where? Can't see anything. Oh, those are blue guys. I want to avoid them. I'm just going to stick to the road. Fuck. It is a little bit difficult just to tell, like, what's going on and where you're going. Mm, am I on the right track? Kind of. Uh, it's like up here. Yeah, the lack of a mini map kind of fucks you. We're almost there, boys. We're almost there, boys. Yay, back home. Oh man, I'm gonna need some shot eye after that. Howdy, partners. Yeah, we did it. Uh, are we talking to someone or this guy looks important? Nope. Over here? What? The fuck are we going? 
Oh, maybe I'm like done my mission, so I go back to the future or whatever. Okay, okay. Like, what did I? I didn't find anyone. Wasn't I looking for some dude? Yeah, I, I don't know. Your report is correct, Dexter. There was just too much land to cover, and the Confederate presence was much too strong in the area. We knew it was a long uh, shot okay. to find Welsh in the middle of the night. Now we have to do it the hard way. Sorry, boys. Whether you go after Welsh or Petrovich next, you're heading into heavy battle. You're doing very well maintaining history. Keep it up. I'll see you when you return. Your job will be a lot easier cool. if your shooting irons are in better shape. Our team is working on improving period weapons, but they're also running interference for you. Remember the people with the blue auras? The fewer of them you kill, the more time our team has to work on your weapon systems, and the less time they spend cleaning up after your worthless ass. Come on over to the weapons table. I can show you more. After okay, so it's kind of an upgrade system, it looks like. It up, you'll get upgrade points. And you can use these points to get more ammo and a clip, faster rate of fire, better accuracy. You get the idea. Once you use them, okay. you can't get them back. So choose carefully. Okay, so basically the less people with blue auras you kill, the more you stun, or the more you just avoid, the more upgrade points you get, I guess, and then you get the rifle and the sidearm, and you just go through and, uh, can't do power, do like accuracy. Remember that? No, crap, I forgot. You're from a time before pizza. Oh, dude, that's mean! Alright, I upgraded that, and, uh, yeah, so this was, uh, what the fuck is this game called? That's it. This was, uh, Darkest of Days. It's, uh, you know, it's kind of an interesting idea, but gameplay is, meh. Gameplay is, like, kind of meh. If this was, like, a, a better done game, it would be a really cool idea, just going throughout different time periods, fighting in different battles. Um, I would definitely like to see, like, a newer version of this or something like that, but... Yeah, this game's not really worth checking out. It's pretty mediocre hey, standard shit. Priest, Rabbi, Shut up, dude. I'm trying to do a thing. So there's like a pretty simple upgrade system. You can upgrade your two guns, avoid killing people, and just go through missions looking for a dude. Uh, so yeah, this is Darkest of Days, and I'm Frank from Brilliantly Epic. Happy Thanksgiving. I kind of figured that the part in the beginning was going to play more of a more of a part but it didn't it ended pretty quickly um yeah but anyway happy thanksgiving and just keep in mind that thanksgiving is basically a pretty horrible thing when you come down and think about it and uh why can't we just get along man you know give peace a chance shut the fuck up i'm trying to talk god all right jesus uh yeah so this was uh episode 13 of first impressions and uh, if you're American, have a happy Thanksgiving and tune in next week for more. I'm Frank from Brilliantly Epic, and I will see you guys later. Bye.